All right, guys, welcome to my living room. Uh, so you guys said you wanted to see it, so I'm going to show you what we've got going on so far and share some ideas, along with what trains we currently have, and I'm also gonna give you guys a little test of them running around the track. So first, let me go ahead and show you the table. All right, guys, so this is our train table. This is layer number one. Now, I don't have a whole lot of space for a train layout, um, so this isn't going to be something extremely spectacular, but I'm going to make good with what I can. I could have went with a smaller gauge, but I would prefer to have the O gauge because of the fact that I got kids that are going to play with them, which I'll explain in a minute which trains they are, and a little bit of the ease of use here. So essentially this which is a custom built table is going to be duplicated and will be layers going up. Once it's all layered, it's gonna get encased in plexiglass. So that way the little critters and the bigger little critters, like AKA my little one, can't go terrorizing this. Um, so that's kind of our theory that we're going to build this kind of like a uh, you know, like a, like a tower. Um, I have a grass mat coming. It's a uh, Bachman grass mat. We're gonna cover this with grass. Each layer is gonna be something different. Um, and we're going to do a variety of different, you know, sceneries and houses and things like that. On the underneath of each layer is gonna be some LED lights. So that way it's lit uh, down below. Basically I have a couch right here. So you're sitting on the couch, you'll get a good view like this, you know, between the layers and things like that. So now let me introduce you to the three trains that we've already purchased. Dennis is just like, I want to see the trains, Dad. So as our railway conductor sits here, we've got the Lionel Lion Chief O Gauge Hogwarts Express. We've got the Lionel Budweiser and we've got Thomas. Now we've also got James coming for the Thomas set, which is gonna be on the bottom row, uh, but he's not here yet, but here's James. So the initial plan is gonna be first layer, second layer, third layer. So Harry Potter's gonna be up on top, but in the middle and Thomas down on the lower portion. I have Thomas going on the lower portion, so that way the kids can actually interact with that better being on the bottom level um, and then the Harry Potter one I'm actually debating on if I should make the Hogwarts castle which if I do build that then I'm going to need a lot of space so that's why I'm saving that for the upper um, so I have unboxed these already and checked them all out to make sure they work as well as you know kind of play with the track a little bit here for you know what kind of spacing I can do so next step is to take them out Put them on the track and I'll let you guys see them for yourselves. So these are a part of the Lion Chief set. So you actually get this cool little remote with it. You don't have to use any uh, transformer or anything like that. You literally just plug this right in and you connect the remote or you can actually use a app on your phone with this. So this is something where it comes in handy having kids and not really having much of a place to really put on a, a full on display. Um, so that's why I actually went with these. Um, and one of the biggest reasons I went with Lionel. Uh, one, I also had trains that my dad put up when I was a kid, so we always had Lionel. So that's kind of why I really just suck with them overall anyway. Curiosity is about to kill the cat. So all you gotta do is move this wheel you can go forward or backward. The only thing I don't care for about this one is I'm actually going to have to go on the app and adjust the settings on the volume. I feel like it's actually too loud because when you blow the horn it actually like drowns out. You'll hear it in a second. It like starts loud and then it like cuts off. I think it's like too overpowered for the uh, for the speaker. But 
There is this setting here where you can click and listen to voices. Now, um, your train leaves in 10 minutes. Is your ticket? Stick to it, Harry. That's very important. Stick to your ticket. But Hagrid, there must be a mistake. This is platform nine and three quarters. There's no such thing. Is there? I'm oh, Rob, by the way. Rob Weasley. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. Anything off the trolley, dears? We'll take the lot. So the cool thing is, this one out of the other two is actually full metal. This one is 100% metal, uh, where the other two, the Budweiser and the Thomas, are actually plastic. This one has a light on the front. This will also blow uh, smoke out. However, we're not adding the smoke because once this is enclosed, uh, you know, we don't want that being trapped. So we do have that turned off so that way it does not damage. Uh, the component in here that produces that. This has all of the sounds coming from here. This is where the speaker is. Um, and then you guys can see that the cars actually do light up and this comes with three of the cars. You can actually go on like Amazon, for example, and buy more cars, which I would like to actually find out how many this had and actually add some more cars. Maybe, maybe two more at the most. I don't want to overdo it considering this is the only space I have, but they do have the cars that have the Dementors in them, which are those like Grim Reapers, and they do some crazy, like scary stuff. So I may actually add them uh, to the back of this, maybe two of those to the back. But anyway, this is our Hogwarts Express Harry Potter train. Now we're going to move on to the next one. And of course, if you guys can hear, the real train is actually going by my house right now. lights up get back here this one's definitely a little bit peppy uh, right here you can see we've got some barrels which they don't really stay still they kind of go wherever they want but the lids actually do come off there's nothing in there maybe we can put some beer in there I don't know one has these horses which they bob in and out as the train moves. Which is definitely a pretty cool and unique feature. There's actually a horse head on both sides so no matter which way this car is turned you'll, you'll see the horses moving. Here's where all the audio is coming from. And here is the engine itself. You can see we've got the Budweiser logo on there. It's a really nice setup. The old fashioned like lantern on the front, the plow. I actually really, really like the, uh, the design of this train. There's a few other trains from Lionel that look like this. There's like a frozen one and, and you know things like that. But we decided since we were already knew we were going to do Thomas and we were going to do the Harry Potter one, we wanted to do something that was more adult. Um, but we weren't really looking for a you know, realistic train, uh, just to kind of keep it fun for the kids. I may end up adding a realistic train later on, uh, but right now we have these. And, and as it keeps getting away from me, you can see that we do in fact have a light in the front. So on this one, the front light and the rear car 
do illuminate. There are more cards you can purchase for this. Um, so again, we may end up expanding and getting the other cars that add on to this as well. The Budweiser Clydesdales have been running for over 80 years. It's an honor to share them with folks all across the country. remote you simply just click off once that happens the train is going to go into a mode where it's trying to pair to either this or your phone which you'll hear in a moment okay that chirping sound indicates that it is looking for a controller on to Thomas all right guys and here we have Thomas now there are a few drawbacks on this one this one is more I would say definitely made for kids because it loses a lot of features. Number one, the audio actually comes from the engine itself, so the audio is actually a lot quieter. Uh, when this is actually going up and down the track, you really can't hear the whistle, the horn, or him talk if he's at a high speed. The cars adding on, they just slip over top. They don't actually have working, uh, you know, those things. Um, and this one also has zero lighting whatsoever and non-functional smokestack. Now you guys know Thomas actually does actually have a light here, but the Bachman actually includes it. Uh, Lionel has removed it. They did not include the light on this variation of Thomas. So they did kind of hold back a little bit on this. Um, so this is actually more of a affordable one, but again, I think they more directed this one towards kids. So I think they kind of cut a lot of the features so that way if there was parents that didn't want to go full-blown train set, that this is still a option that's inexpensive and something that they can possibly get for their kids. But with that being said, let's go ahead and fire them up. Here is Thomas's remote. It says Thomas and Friends on it, number one. Again, the Lionel. And it's just like the other ones. And the horn. So guys, there's a look at what I'm doing with my layout. This is going to progress and get a lot better. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of the trains if you like the three. I was actually thinking about adding a fourth, um, and that one would have actually been a realistic one, not one of these like more cartoony ones or from a movie or show. Um, but yeah, so let me know which one you guys liked, any of your thoughts, and especially if there is any suggestions on you know materials like you guys see that this is you know thomas here so if you guys know any good you know thomas stuff any good harry potter stuff or anything good budweiser um please feel free to leave me a link 
if there is a uh, a certain product or anything that you would like me to actually check out that you think would be cool to add to this. Thanks very much for watching everybody. And uh, yeah, make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell on and uh, you guys will be able to stay up to date on what we do with this. So thanks for watching everybody. See you guys next time. The apocalypse.